Hey everyone, it's Ashley, and today I'm going to be doing my December favorites video, and I cannot believe it's almost 2016, like, this is insane, um, I, like, this entire year just went by so fast, and I say this in, like, literally every single video, I feel like everybody does, but it just does, like, this year went by so fast, like, to think it's already December, like, the end of December, and it's gonna be, like, January tomorrow, that's insane. But anyway, I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite products this month. Um, I didn't try out a ton of new products from last month, so if you want to see more, um, you know, like what I use on a daily basis, like for makeup and stuff, um, I'll list my November favorites video because that has, you know, like the foundation I use, concealer, all that kind of stuff, and then I'm just going to be showing you guys new products that I tried out or found out about this month. Um, but a lot of it hasn't changed, honestly. Like, the candle I've been burning all month is in my November favorites, and the body wash and like shampoo and stuff like everything that I use basically is in the November favorites video so I'm just going to be showing you a few things that I discovered this month but yeah so let's just get right into it so I'm going to start with makeup products um so first off is my Gwen Stefani palette um I said in last month's video that I didn't want to put it in that video yet because I just gotten it but like I knew it was going to be a favorite and this is I've used this like pretty much every day that I've done my makeup this month um I did it today and honestly, I just love this palette. Like, there's just so much that you can do with it. There's so many different looks you can create. There's a great variety of nudes and um, colors. So you can just really create a ton of different looks. You can create smoky eyes, natural eyes, you know, colorful makeup looks. Really, this is such a great staple palette. Um, I did a video on it, so if you want to see that, I'll have that linked also. Um, but yeah, this is just an amazing palette, and I really love it, and it has been a favorite all month. All right, next up, I have a lip product, and this is the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick. Um, or lip gloss or whatever, and I have been wanting this forever, but every time I went into Ulta, they were sold out of this color. This is the um, Vintage Retro shade, and I have been wanting this so bad and for so long, and literally every time I went to Ulta, they were sold out, and I debated ordering it online, but I was like, oh well, like, you know, the it'll die down eventually, like, you know, the hype about this can't, like, go on forever, so I'll get it eventually. And at the beginning of the month when I went into Ulta, I found this, and I was so happy because, like I said, I've been wanting this forever. And it's just such a pretty color. It's kind of like the color of my shirt, actually, um, but I'll do a little swatch for you guys. It is just such a pretty color, and I love it. It goes on, like, a lip gloss, but then it dries into a matte shade, which I really love. Um, and this is just really great. It lasts really well. Um, it's just a really pretty color, and I'm so happy I finally got this. I think it was, like, $5.99 or $6.99 which is honestly pretty cheap for like a really nice um, lip gloss like this. Alright, then in my Ipsy box I got an It Cosmetics Hello Lashes um, mascara sample and I actually really love this. Ever since I got it in my Ipsy I've been using it every day. I think it really makes your eyelashes look really pretty and it's a really great mascara. It's really easy to use. Um, the wand is really cool because it has like a normal wand but then it has like a little ball at the top so that's really good for getting like in the inner corner or the outer corner eyelashes um so I just really love this mascara I don't know if I'll purchase the full size or not um I guess that'll depend because right now I have a full size um Urban Decay mascara and then I have this one and I have like another sample so I think it'll kind of depend once I'm all out of mascara like what I decide to do but this is definitely a really great mascara if you're looking for one I think that it's really good and I definitely really like it all right and then this month my face broke out like a lot more than it typically does so um I had gotten this a while ago but I just found it in my makeup kit again because when I was breaking out I was trying to find a concealer. So this is the Derma Blend Smooth Indulgence Concealer in the shade Sand. And this is honestly like a really, really, really great concealer. It has SPF 20 in it and it just, it lasts really well. Um, my only complaint about this is it's like a heavy product. So if you're looking for just like a light concealer for like everyday blemishes, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this. I would recommend it more for like bad breakouts or if you're like, you know, going out somewhere, like you have a special event or something that you want to look really nice for um, and you have like a blemish that bothers you or something. So I don't use this on a daily basis. I just used it when like my breakout was really bugging me and it was like really bad in like the beginning stages. Um, and this is a really, really great concealer. It covers it flawlessly. It is amazing. You don't have to use a lot. Like a tiny bit covers like your entire face of like blemishes, at least for me. Um, so I absolutely love this stuff, but like I said, it's not like a great everyday foundation just because it is kind of a heavier makeup, like it's very thick. So I really like this, but um, I wouldn't use it every day personally. And then like I said, this month my face was breaking out a lot. So I found this, and again, this was a product I had before that 
I um, just recently found again. And this is from Image Skincare, and this is the Clear Cell Salicylic Gel Cleanser. And this is really amazing. I feel like it really helps my breakouts. Um, so I don't use this to like remove makeup or anything. I just use it to help the breakouts. Uh, but I feel like it really helped, honestly. It really cleared up my skin. Um, as you can see, I still have like a little bit of like red on my face, but I mean, I haven't, um, I don't know. I feel like it honestly helps a lot, like compared to how my face was at the beginning of the month to now. This helped so much, and I just really love it. So if you're struggling with breakouts, I definitely recommend trying it because I think that it really did help, and it's a really great product. I could really feel like my face felt clean, and it just honestly really helped. Like by the next morning, a lot of the redness was gone, so I love this stuff. And then again, for acne, I found this, and again, this was an old product I had. So if these are like repeat products, I'm sorry, like from like way back um, videos. I know it wouldn't be a recent video, but a favorite from a while ago. I'm sorry, but I just rediscovered these products, and I felt like I should tell you guys. So this is Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Spot Treatment. And this stuff is amazing. Literally, on the package, it says 100% of people show clear skin in just one day. And I would definitely agree with that statement. And my mom and I are obsessed. Like, she comes into my room all the time and steals this and uses it. And I just love it. It honestly helped so much. So I definitely recommend trying this also. And then for nail polish this month, I had my nails painted like this. They're like little Santa jackets. And I think that they're really cute. And I had this basically most of the month. Um, but the red underneath is from OPI, and this is in shiny red, and it's a really pretty color. It's just a very pretty, like, classic red color, and has a little bit of sparkle in it. Um, so this is a really great nail polish. I think it's really pretty for the, you know, holidays and stuff, so I really loved this. Um, yeah. Alright, and then for my hands, during the winter my hands get so dry, and, um, my mom had given me this, and I think she got it in her Ipsy bag or something. And this is First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, and this is really good. It's obviously a sample size, and I'm almost out of it, but um, I put this on every night before I went to bed, and it honestly made my hands so much softer. Um, I would sometimes reapply it throughout the day, or just apply another lotion, but honestly, I didn't really have to, and I hate the feeling of lotion, and I'm like so lazy when it comes to lotion. So this is really nice because it's not like too thick or too oily. Um, but it gets the job done and it definitely makes your hands a lot smoother and healthier looking so I love this if you're looking for a good moisturizer. And then for my hair I got this uh, sample from Aveda and this is the Smooth Infusion Nourishing Styling Cream and I put this on once I got out of the shower when my hair was still wet. I would towel dry it for like five minutes and then put this on and brush it through and this stuff is amazing. It makes your hair smell really good. It um, really just made my hair feel really soft. It made it look really healthy and shiny. And I just like absolutely love this, so I will definitely be purchasing the full size when I run out of this sample. It's amazing. Um, so if you're struggling with like split ends or your hair doesn't really look healthy or it's not shiny or it's not soft or you just want a nice product to help um, nourish your hair, then I definitely recommend trying this because it is honestly amazing. And then I haven't really read since like September, but I am like typically a total like bookworm, like I'm always reading. Uh, but since September, I just haven't really like read. So I picked up this book, um, I ran into the bookstore the other day and I got this and this has totally like put me back, like gotten me back into reading because now after, I read this in like three days and then now I'm reading another book, um, but this is Alive and this is about a girl who gets a heart transplant and it just like, she gets really bad chest pain and she gets like hallucinations and um, just like all this weird stuff is happening. And her doctors are like, like nothing's wrong, you know, the organs aren't rejecting the heart, you know, there's nothing from our standpoint that's like wrong with you. Um, and then this guy shows up at her school and he's kind of weird and um, she starts hanging around him and stuff and I don't want to spoil it, but anyway, it's a really, really great book. So it's kind of creepy, like in the end, it's kind of creepy, but... Um, it's really good. It's it's really good though. I loved it. Honestly, I read it so fast and it was just a really good book. So I definitely recommend that. And then now on to like fun random things. So I am a huge fan of Boom Chicka Pop popcorn. And so I found this the other day at Sprouts and this is Boom Chicka Pop Frosted Sugar Cookie Flavored Kettle Corn. So this is basically like their Christmas popcorn. And this stuff is amazing. It is so good. Um, I've gotten four bags of it this month, so yeah, um, but I am like totally addicted to this stuff, it is amazing. Um, so it's basically just kettle corn and then it has white chocolate and sprinkles on it, but it's really, really good. Um, 
and I've been asked because I posted this on Instagram um, where to get Boom Chicka Pop and I got this bag from Sprouts but I know Target has it I think grocery stores typically have it um, so I would just you know look around they might not have like this exact one but they typically have Boom Chicka Pop um, so this stuff is amazing and then something else I really love this is the Nature Valley Sweet and Salty Nut Chocolate Pretzel Nut Bar this stuff is amazing it's basically just like a um, granola bar but then it has like pretzel bits and um, chocolate like on the bottom so it is really really good um, if you're craving something sweet but you don't want to like eat something totally unhealthy I definitely recommend this because honestly it is so so good and I am addicted to that and my last thing for this month I thought would be something kind of fun to show you so this is my elf record album and again if you follow me on Instagram you've probably seen a lot of this stuff but this is so cool um, I got a record album wait I got a record player for my 17th birthday and um, I found this at Barnes & Noble and I've just been obsessed. I think it is such a fun album and I've been listening to it like every day and I just think it's really cool so um, I don't know. I just thought it would be fun to show you guys. Alright, so those are all of my favorites for this month. If you filmed a favorites video, you can leave that in the comments below and I would love to see it or if you want to just tell me some of your favorite products or things that you think I should try, um, you can let me know in the comments down below also. Also make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'll have that linked down below. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!